Malaga. There are followers of Ares fanatics up ahead. Who was he going to meet? I should find out. Talk to him. What was that all about? The military suspects me of smuggling deserters from the war front. Okay, fine. They knew I was doing it. Mm-hmm. Ugh! Malaga's guards! They hit like bricks! Did you see a man on your way here? A skinny sort of idiot, wearing army colors. I found a body near a cliff in the gulch. He had a note on him. No, 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 he can't be dead. We had the perfect plan to get him home to his wife. I promised her I wouldn't let him end up like the other deserters. You must be close to him to risk your life to help. Or he was paying you a lot. I... I did it for the girl. Girl? What girl? His wife? There's always a girl, isn't there? Look, he got drafted into the war. She wouldn't stop crying. And my speciality is making people disappear in a different way than you do. So, I decided to help them get back together. It's rare to find a man with a good heart these days. We've all got people we want to look out for, need to look out for. Yes, we do. <sighs> We need to get to Isabel. I mean, the wife. If the guards come after me, she'll be in danger too. Please, go to her. I'll catch up when I can take her to safety. I'll make sure she's safe. Where will I find her? Follow the road to Kithonia. Her house will be on the left. Look for the green cloth on the doorpost. Quickly. I'll catch up as soon as I can. Here.
here fight, but then. We weren't supposed to kill you idiots. Now we'll have to explain ourselves to the captain. She refused to spill the beans on her deserter of her husband. She got what she deserved. For you! Who in the God's names are you? Like she put up a good fight, but not good enough. I saw the gods dead outside. <laughs> good job, Mysterious. They got to her before me. There was nothing I could do but avenge her. She trusted me, Mysterious. All I wanted was to make her smile. But every time I tried, all I brought her was pain. It's all I ever do. I shouldn't have told her about my stupid plan to reunite her with her husband. I did this to her, didn't I? No, you didn't. Nobody wanted things to end like this. Least of all you. Everything seemed okay when she smiled, you know? I didn't care who she was smiling at. You did your best. No one's best is ever enough. No. No, it's not. Take this. I was going to give it to her when I helped them escape Pythonia. To get them through tough times. They won't need it anymore, and it's too heavy for me to bear. Take it as payment for your troubles. And leave me, please. Before those vultures peck my eyes out, not to mention the wolves. I saw them in the bushes earlier. You called me Mystios. You must know my help comes at the price. You don't look like you're in much of a position to pay. W why it's... Hear me out. The people who did this to me, they took everything I had and left me for dead. They've got plenty of other treasures and trinkets at their hideouts too. Free me and I'll tell you where to find them. Quick, Mistios, untie me. Malakis, wolves. I'll make offerings thanking the gods for you. You're alive and free. Now tell me about my reward. Those Malakis took my only prized possession, a family heirloom, an amulet handed down from my mother. They keep their spoils underwater in a cave just west of here. Which one of the thugs took your amulet? The leader, a burly man with a huge axe, wears it now. Take his head, and the amulet is yours to keep. 
Who left you like this? The followers of Ares. I joined them thinking I could get rich quick. But the sacrifices and murders, Mistios, it's terrible. I tried to sneak away with some of their stuff. And got caught. You've got to kill them all, Mistios. They're crazy. You deserted the followers of Ares and expect to live. What's your plan? I assumed I'd become Carrion. But wait. Maybe... I don't like the sound of this. How... how about I work for you? I know how to fight. The followers of Ares gave me that much, at least. What do you say? Okay. You work for me now. I don't see much value in you, but it's better than nothing. I'll see you back at your ship then, Commander. Not before putting on some clothes.
amulet will work perfectly. My love will look beautiful in it. <clears throat> this must be the amulet the naked man was going on about. Looks expensive. Father of the Minotaur.
Beast Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. The bull put up quite a fight, but his pelt is yours. You are remarkable. Years of training made me a warrior. Life as a Mistios has honed those abilities. Then, at the least, you should applaud yourself for your dedication to your art. I'll return when I have more pelts. Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents! I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection? From what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Potter would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. What are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents, so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Supidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course. My parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What? What? Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You are being superstitious! You mustn't free me. These ropes are the only thing between my parents and my wrath. Please, Mistyos, go see the blacksmith and get me my sword. Eros on Earth! Um, uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Alexios, whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supidio. Ah, Supidio. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. 
his sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Just give me the sword, or I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I... Uh, there's no need to get all heated. Uh, tell you what, I'm drinking wine with someone special tonight. And I'd really like to make a good impression. Uh, but there's a small problem. My spear I is also <clears throat> broken. What a shame. But uh, there are special flowers in the forest beyond Xerxes' military fort. Planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to um, reforge, uh, if you know what I mean. Fine. I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean... Don't go anywhere. That should be enough to stoke the blacksmith's flame. Gorgeous, Mistyos. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? Can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But yes, I have them. Perfect. This will make tonight a night to remember. I'm very happy for you. Now, what you promised. Of course, of course. Um, I was uh, just wondering, uh, since we're here, uh, what if I took the flowers now? Uh, there's a clean spot in my shop where we could... Uh... I'm only here for the sword. I did what you asked. Now hand it over. You break my heart, Mistyos. But I'll make good use of the flowers. Here's the sword, as I promised. I should get this back to Supidio's parents, before he does anything... Stupidio. Mistyos, you've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed. And I have two parents. So tell me about the shield. Well... According to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. 
They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistyos. Bring me back my shield. Only then will my parents be truly safe from my fury. There she is. This must be the cave. Perfect hiding spot for a thief. I don't care if someone's after us. We can take them, right? <laughs> we won't get a moment's rest to find out who it is. I say we take shifts tonight, just to be safe. Huh? Who was that? Should be enough to protect Supidio's parents from his deadly wrath.
Mistios, at last! Did you find the shield? I did. Now you can protect yourself from the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh, yes. Cut her in half. She won't steal anything from anyone ever again. And what about the blacksmith? He's fine. Could use a cold bath, but he's fine. Thank the gods! Thank you, Mistios. You spared my parents from my wrath. Now, if you would release me. Actually, there's something your mother and I have to tell you. Your parents are... <clears throat> very happy to have such a caring son to protect us. Thank you, Mistios. We're all fine now. Odd family.